a school district had several buildings uh, that were involved, not necessarily destroyed, but involved uh, in that disaster. It was about 7.30 in the morning and they had some latchkey kids that were in a portable classroom building and they had three other portables and those other three portables uh, blew away so they were that close. FEMA actually come here, we visited with them, showed them some uh, tornado, quote unquote, tornado shelters that we had done previous to uh, any FEMA documents being out there, so we were kind of flying by the seat of our pants with those, but had done several shelters, quote unquote, shelters prior to that. It was kind of the, the start of the 361 document that FEMA produced guideline for uh, designing community shelters. Uh, it's a guideline for uh, designers and, and operators of those shelters. Gentlemen with the uh, Wichita School District he decided, and with FEMA, to say, okay, let's take a shot at, at coming up with a shelter that we believe will withstand tornadic winds, 250 mile an hour winds plus. And so we kind of got to be the guinea pigs, if you will, um, on that shelter, that particular shelter. 361 was not in place as of yet. They, in the interim, they did a document that was called Performance Criteria, which was about a 16-page document that kind of had some of the highlights, if you will, of what we need to deal with. And so we worked with several people, several engineers on the East Coast, uh, Texas Tech uh, engineers, and there was no doors, no windows, none of that stuff in place, all the while protecting the, the staff and students in inside that shelter. It was a really interesting process. We learned a great deal uh, from that. And out of that was, you know, born the full 361 document that everybody uses today.